Hey everyone, John Lance here. Today we're in Bellevue, Bellevue, Washington, basically just outside Seattle, outside Sam's Tavern. So there's a number of these in and around the Seattle area. Um, essentially they are a restaurant chain, like a pub chain, basically burgers, you know, beers and all that stuff. Here we are doing their Sam's Tavern Challenge. This is a very well-known challenge in the area. In fact, this is probably Seattle's most famous, popular, well-known challenge. So for this challenge, you have 30 minutes to get the meal for free and technically 60 minutes to get a t-shirt. But to officially win the you know meal and get it for free and really beat it, you gotta do 30 minutes. Um, so it consists of four of their gourmet burgers. So these are the bigger, more gourmet dressed burgers. You then have to have a Bloody Mary. Yes, although they will do that without alcohol, which is really cool. And that they call it a bacon bomb. So it actually then has bacon and a slider on top. So it's like a big fancy Bloody Mary. Then you have to drink a beer, a Rainer beer, um, which is a local brewery. You cannot get out of that. So I guess we're drinking a beer today. Then also have an order of their fries. And I believe that's it. So again, 30 minutes to clean to get the meal for free. Um, that's pretty much that. Uh, let's head on in. Let's have fun. Let's eat some food. Wish us luck. Here, my good friend Mr. Scott, hanging out with your friend Adam, local here. Uh, but yeah, so lots of you know Sam's arounds, and we're just uh, happen to be this one. Um, but yeah, let's go eat some food. Let's have fun. Wish us luck. And uh, it's late. It's late, and I'm on used to Eastern time. It's Pacific time, so I have like a time change. Anyway, let's have fun. Let's eat some food and. Uh, that's about it. I feel like there's something I'm forgetting. Oh, and I believe we fail. I think it's sixty dollars, maybe seventy. I'll get back to you. Let's get some food. Hey everyone, so how about we get started? Scott, ready? Cheers. Cheers. Let's go. Go. Hey, cool. And where do they go? They go left behind the hair flowers. Behind Charles Leno. Keith Ismail again. Go. Watch the offensive center that they used. Man up, no problem. We'll run the ball against anybody. Little Benji Burger there, little Snyder. Pretty good. Nice flavors on the dressing room. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Sam's Tavern in Belleville, Washington. Basically a suburb of Seattle, and there are lots of Sam's Taverns around Seattle. So, here, just at this location, this happened to be one of the newest locations, ironically. Um, and there was a football game going on at the time, so this was incredibly packed. We actually got the last table in the whole place. The bar was full, so it's very, very loud in the restaurant. The challenge is pretty cool. It, I think it has a very reasonable $40 price tag. They definitely have that price tag on to encourage you to try it. So you pick four of their different burgers right off the menu. So pick one of the like four different burgers off the menu. Then you have the order of fries. You have then the Bloody Mary and the beer. Those are non-negotiable, non-changeable. But you do get to actually pick the kind of burger you get, which I think is pretty dang nice. <laughs> So Scott and I each got a burger called a Bacon Bomb, which was literally a burger with a patty made of 50% bacon. So the patty is 50% bacon, 50% ground beef. Um, you'll hear us talk about that a little bit, but long story short, it definitely tastes like bacon. Um, then he had a burger with like chili on it. We both had a burger with um, uh, avocado, like guacamole on it. I got a burger with blue cheese on it. Um, we Scott got one with mushrooms on it. So like I said, there was a lot of diversity of burgers between the two of us, we basically covered the whole burger menu, um, but overall very good tasting burgers. And we asked for them cooked like a medium-ish rare and they were cooked properly. We additionally really enjoyed kind of again, the different flavors, the seasonings they had. Like this was a good burger. It was a very soft bun. Um, and then just with all the different ingredients, I would definitely, definitely recommend it. So if you're ever looking for a good burger, I will say Sam's, I think, which is what they're known for. They're known for their burgers, and I think they do them really well, so I would recommend it. Um, and at least to this point, it was a very good tasting challenge. Um, Scott does drink alcohol. I do not drink alcohol, but you have to drink alcohol for this challenge. This is a burger which is half bacon. It tastes like bacon. It is really good. It's a few mustaches in there. Very bacon. 
I did appreciate that they would make it a virgin, aka no alcohol in it, a Bloody Mary, which a Bloody Mary, some people also call like a Caesar. It's basically like a Clamato juice or a tomato juice with, you know, different salts, hot sauces, um, you know, generally then like vodka in it. Again, ours were virgin. However, you did have to drink the Rainer beer, Rainer being a local brewery, very well known in the Seattle area. Um, and if it was to describe the beer, it's kind of like a light, it's kind of a light beer. I don't know, maybe it's probably considered a lager, like a light lager of some sort, um, but it's pretty light beer. So yeah, um, all the burgers again had the traditional buns, except the blue cheese burger, which I had, which was the one I'm eating right now. It came on a great big uh, piece of like sourdough bread, which was different, not what I was expecting, but hey, nonetheless. Okay, I've got a mushroom burger here. Scattering your hopes of the Blue cheese burger, sourdough bread, it's very big. Landscape. See what we did there? I got you. The french fries were also seasoned french fries. They are a big, big thick cut, um, kind of like a steak cut fry, and they are seasoned with a uh, kind of rosemary, also a very he like a large grain salt. Um, it is their own kind of signature s uh, fry spice. Um, so yeah, so pr it sounded really good. Again, we were hoping we were going to get to actually try that. Um, but yeah, basically 30 minutes to complete the meal in order to get it for free. Again, if you do it in 60, you technically do win the challenge. You technically do get a t-shirt, but you still pay for it. Whereas again, if you do it in the 30 minutes, you get the free t-shirt, you get the free meal, and that's, in my eyes, what really constitutes the win. On the Bloody Mary as well, we also had a uh, burger slider. We did get a pick the flavor. You could either go with veggie, beef, or chicken. I went with beef. Scott went with veggie. And then you had the little uh, cocktail skewer that you can see on Scott's cup right there, which is like tomatoes and pickles and cheese. Um, so yeah, there's definitely a big kind of deluxe Bloody Mary. Um, yeah, no shortage of really any, anything was not like basic. It was all pretty done up and well done and pretty bougie. Um, but overall, you know, again, I think that is the majority of the information I have to share with you today. Definitely a nice challenge. DK I did try to leave in some of the natural commentary, however, you know, it was very few things we actually tried to say to the camera because it was just too loud in there. Like I said, very loud during the football game. It was uh, Washington and Seattle playing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, everybody. So with that, let's tune on in. Uh, let me know down below if you like Bloody Marys, because I'm not a big Bloody Mary person, but some people really are. So let me know down below if you like Bloody Marys. And at that, hopefully we can finish this challenge, get to it. And at that, let's get to the rest of the video.
spicy. The beer tastes like a beer. Nonetheless, Scott, what'd you think? Yeah, no, it was very delicious. I really enjoyed those burgers. Nice, soft, and juicy. Uh, I made it go down nice and easy. And of course, the beer. I mean, so guys, I think we, we do get the deal for free, and I believe a T-shirt. Um, so yeah, pretty cool, guys. So hope you enjoyed today's video. What's the actual price of this challenge if you don't beat it? Forty bucks. And apparently, the challenge is only forty dollars if you don't beat it. So that's a hell of a deal. So everyone, until next time, stay happy, hungry, happy eating, have a low day. Just I'll show you a little bit more guys, getting some more like water reviews. Um, fun fact, if you're ever in BC, or like you live in Vancouver, British Columbia, Seattle really reminds me of like Vancouver. We're gonna closer look at the Space Needle. And then here we got a little bit closer look of the downtown buildings. But yeah, I mean obviously geographically, Seattle and, and Vancouver are very close together. And both in the looks and the kind of geography, they remind me very much of each other. So there you go, very similar. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much. You rock.